Lincoln has just unveiled the new 2023 Corsair and I want to make a video on this because I want to see what's actually new in this very very subtle facelift. Before we do that, before we jump into Photoshop and have a look at the front, side, rear and also the interior, let's talk a little bit about the spec and tech. So the 2.3 liter inline 4 engine is no more for 2023. You now only have two engine options for the 2023 Corsair. You have the 2 liter base model and you have the 2.5 liter plug-in hybrid. It might sound like small engines but they do pack a pretty substantial amount of power. You have 250 horsepower in the base 2 liter which is not bad at all and then you have 266 horsepower in the plug-in hybrid and you also get about I would say 30 miles of electric range if you want to cruise around uh, in just electric mode. You can have either the 2 liter or the 2.5 liter as all wheel drive, but that's going to cost you $2,300. There's also an updated active glide system for hands free driving for 2023. And the interior now has a 13.2 inch infotainment screen and a standard 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. Looks very clean inside. I'm going to show you. The subtle changes on the interior as well from the 2020, 2020 to 2023 facelift. You also have two new exterior options which Lincoln calls Crystal Red and Whisper Blue. Very mystical names for these colors. Pricing for the Corsair will start at about $40,000 for the base model and it will go on sale early in 2023. So let's have a look at this design and what's actually new. Let me sh let you know what I think about this update. So normally, I, I think Lincoln actually has some of the best looking SUVs on the market. They do very clean designs. Doesn't have any uh, strange angles or lines or surfaces to them. It's very clean everything. You have that in the front end. So this is the 2020 model. I really like the line flow in this design. You have some nice looking headlights. A pretty traditional looking grill. You also have this which I like in the 2020. You have a bumper that's actually body color. The bumper styling remains in the 2020 model. Then you have a simple intake in the lower lower part of the of the front end which looks pretty good. You have some nice curvatures and surface treatments right here. It looks fluid. It looks pretty elegant this uh, Lincoln Corsair and also the other uh, Lincoln uh, SUVs in the, in the entire lineup. But looking at the at the new 2023 here, uh, I'm not really sure what I think about this. I want to hear your opinion. Do you prefer the 2020 face or the 2023? This is a pretty s subtle facelift, but it still has the big change right in this area where the grill meets the bumper. So in the 2023, as you can see, we don't really have the bumper anymore. And they also decided to add this trim piece, which is just a straight line. It kind of reminds me of uh, airplane wings or something like that. Maybe that's what they took inspiration from because the names of the uh, Lincoln SUVs are pretty much inspired by the aviation industry. So maybe that's what they thought here. But it looks pretty, I would say, interesting. It doesn't look bad. It just looks unique. I haven't seen a trim piece that just cuts through everything like this into this piece that uh, it looks maybe a little out of place when you zoom in on this particular area right here. I do prefer that we have the bumper in the old version and in addition to that I think stretching the grill down to this lower intake it creates a very harsh connection here. So the connection between the grill and the lower grill now looks it looks pretty unnatural and it doesn't have a nice flow to it like we had in the 2020. And in addition to that we also have more of a design identity with the styling of the grill. You can see the lower part of the grill has these dips in each side. We have one dip here, one dip here. That is now gone on the 2023 facelift. So I don't know. I, I like the new facelift. I think it's a good looking SUV still. But I just think that the old 2020 had more of a uh, Lincoln elegance to it. And I'm not a huge fan of the connection between the top part of the grill and the lower part of the grill and this harshness. It doesn't feel Lincoln to me. Let's have a look at the side view. There is really not a lot going on. This is like a <laughs> like a typical facelift in, um, in, the, in the essence of the word. They only lifted the face 
nothing else on this SUV as I can see but what I want to show you here why I think Lincoln makes beautiful SUVs is we have a nice clean shoulder line going from the corner of the front headlights into the corner of the taillights then we have this line at the bottom going into the bumper as well we don't have a connection with this line in the front end really I, not, not that i can see from this angle but it still looks very clean and i love this sloping greenhouse that is typical for lincoln design and it makes it look like it has this forward motion just looking at it from a side view like this i actually like this uh, 2023 color combination the trim uh, right here the, spe the specifications for this when you have a white car this looks like a pearl white in combination with the black wheels it feels a little lexus style to me to have white and then black wheels but it still works on this lincoln corsair and then you can see we still have the uh, the line flow intact and also the greenhouse obviously has not changed because this is not a brand new corsair it's just a subtle facelift i do think we have new wheel designs for 2023 looking at the rear view same thing here i mean it's not a lot going on that is new for 2023 i still think it's a good looking rear end we do have the 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 trend of the century here which is this light bar in the old 2020 and also in the 2023 model the only change that i can see here is if you go down with your eyeballs a little bit to the diffuser down here you can see that it's silver on the 2020 model and it's black on the 2023 and i think that would probably be the easiest way to uh, to to know if you're looking at a 2023 facelifted or if you're looking at the old corsair but it's still very clean design this has a cut line that reminds me of the audi q5 where you have the taillights being part of the entire trunk or deck lid lifting up like this last but not least let's have a look at the interior i think this is a beautiful interior it looks very cozy it looks like a place where i want to sit in for a long time and drive you can see that we have this uh, old gauge cluster is still the same i think it was 12.3 inches and this was 13 and a half in the new one you can see that this is bigger now on the facelifted version another change we have if you look at this area we have a lot of tactile buttons which i like I like to have the buttons for the main functions of the car being something that I can just keep my, my hand on the steering wheel, eyes on the road and feel what it is I'm changing instead of just touching a touch screen all the time. But it looks like a lot of these functionalities now are implemented in this bigger touch screen. I might be wrong on that because if I zoom in, we still have some, fun some functionality here and some tactile buttons. But it doesn't look like there are as many as in the 2020 model. Other than that, I don't see any major changes in the interior. We have the same steering wheel, which I think looks good. I do like the styling of the steering wheel. We have sort of like a bunch of different chamfers in different levels. And it creates a nice fluid surface treatment of the steering wheel right here creating something unique and something that is uh, known for being a lincoln steering wheel i like details like that when they put some design identity in small details such as the steering wheel overall i think the corsair and the lincoln lineup suvs is a, a, a beautiful looking cars and i think this facelift is also it still looks good but if it was me i think i prefer the solid bumper the body colored bumper in the front end. let me know which one you prefer in the comments below and why i would love to hear your thoughts on this facelift thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video